There means the dog should stop and stand and turn and watch the sheep. Amanda's going to come in and show me how this is done. Amanda gets Farrell's attention right away. And she's telling him to get out, and already he's moved well back. Now Amanda's blocking him so he can't come in. Farrell would really like to come in and be with the sheep and cause him to run around and have fun. And there he is about to stop. So she takes the pressure off. She lowers her hand in the paddle. And because he did a nice stop, she applies some pressure and lets him go chase the sheep. And that's his reward, is chasing the sheep. So Amanda's giving me uh, all the tips I need, and she makes it look easy. Now, there I made a mistake. She's telling me to come down on top of his head and not to swing my paddle up. Like that. So Farrell still wants to get in the sheep. There he stops. So I load my paddle. I'm lowering my arm. He still stops. Put some pressure on, and now he gets a circle and chase the sheep. Whoa! We were in the sheep's way. Now he's going back. So now it's my turn. Amanda's going to back off and let me see if I can make Farrell do it there. He's not being disobedient. He just wants to chase the sheep. And he's trying to figure out what I want. And that really wasn't a bad thing. The sheep were trying to follow Amanda out and Pharaoh put him back in the corner. And we haven't figured out what distance he wants to stop away from me. So we're working out that too. I'm gonna raise the paddle, he stops. As I lower the paddle on my arm, he wants to move in. But he has to stay out without, he has to stay out on his own. He just can't stay out because I'm putting pressure on him with my signals. So he's turning around. He's trying to figure it out. He's not, he's actually working very hard there. And there he stopped. Put my paddle in neutral. I'm going to lower my arm. And he started moving again, so I need to make him stop. And he's trying to think this out. There we go. Apply some pressure. Doesn't do a very good flank, but he does get to run around that circle and chase the sheep, and he pulls all the sheep out of the corner, so that's good. He came in too close, so I motioned to him to get out. I need him to stay out a little further. If he gets too close, the sheep will get excited and run off. And you can see, he's working on it. He's trying to figure it out. There, that stopped him. Put the paddle down, put my arm down. That's a good boy. So now I want to move off and circle the sheep. I'm gonna I'm gonna work, walk out of the corner this time. Let him get some enjoyment by chasing the sheep. There we go. I want to bring the sheep down the other corner. And the sheep want to go back to that corner, so he keeps digging them out. Now I'll push him back to the other corner. That's a good boy. He's worked hard today.